More than 108,000 people in this country are waiting for a new kidney, and that wait can last between five and seven years. John Lomax tells us about a woman who took matters into her own hands to speed that process. In our day-to-day -day lives, we're surrounded by messages. Myrna Burstein hopes this one and this one resonate. It says wanted a kidney donor and the blood type. Burstein has an hereditary kidney disease. Her brother has it. Her mother did. So did her uncle. They had to go on dialysis. Burstein says she's on the same path. My kidney function is deteriorating. She hasn't started that treatment yet, but she's prepared. That's the fistula. She's just hoping a kidney donor comes along first. I have my suitcase packed in my car, just in case. Burstein is on a donor waiting list, has posted these signs across town, even had possible live donors tested, but no match. She says the requirements are strict. One day I was just driving along the highway and jokingly I said to myself, well, I should take out a billboard. There's a bit of truth in every joke and this one became reality. Burstein has paid for a billboard ad and adds on five buses. It's an investment in my life. It, that's, it's an investment in my life. Of course, she hopes these ads lead to a viable live donor, but she also hopes people receive a bigger message. Not only for myself, hopefully I will get a donor from this, but also to make the community aware of there is a need out there, an unspoken need. John Lomax, Local 12 News. And Bernstein's efforts have resulted in some offers from people to have themselves tested. Let's hope she finds a man. From local